up people welcome back to another episode of our love date and relationship is your favorite girl b and today is quite some sad story but i just wanted to share some human angle story with you guys and so that we can share our thoughts and insights and learn lessons and move on all right guys come along with me so guys as that on the 17th of july 2023 the news broke out about the sudden demise of the instagram popular instagram influencer oster xxo who was brutally murdered by her boyfriend of three years and she was her dead body was discovered by her mother who when oster did not return back home after telling her, her mom she was stepping out for over some days the mom got worried and um said to try to call her daughter but her number wasn't going through so her mom knows of her boyfriend and then her mom was able to track the daughter's phone they tracked her phone and it led them to the boyfriend's estate so when they got to the venue they saw her she saw her daughter's car she came with police she already notified police people around the area so they came with some policemen and when they got to the venue they saw her daughter's car parked outside and her car key was just on the bonnet of her car so after knocking that means she was around it shows that she hasn't left the place so they knocked for a very long time when they got no response the police officers they broke down the door and gained forceful access into the building and that was where they met Oscar's decomposed body her cops it was already i think it wasn't um it's been there for some days and according to the report we got it's been said that she was missing body parts like her breast and her vagina so um we don't know if it's the case of the boyfriend came online yesterday, Killer Boy, on Instagram. He came online to say it was a case of domestic violence, but with the body parts missing, it's currently indicating rituals and so many other dark shit. All right, guys, so here is my take on this. If you look at this girl's Instagram profile, I'll be leaving the, some pictures on my Instagram profile. You can see that she's the it girl. She's living her soft girl life, living the baby girl life. You know, she's an Instagram influencer all for the gram you know all those kind of a thing i'm um, rest in peace to the dead like um you know they say don't speak evil about the dead but honestly we should this should be a wake-up call to every young girl we all know that we all want to live that life we all want to be that we all want to be this but this is a wake-up call i'm not saying that we shouldn't be in relationship with rich people or wealthy people no i'm not saying that we shouldn't live our lives as well no what i'm trying to say is that we need to be careful we need to be prayerful, we need to stay watchful, we need to stay vigilant. Let's not allow the pleasures and the things we tend to enjoy momentarily blind us from overseeing things in the long term. Okay? Let's just not allow I won't, I don't know, I don't know the right words to use because this is a very delicate subject as the girl in question is dead. So we have to be very careful with our words. So we just have to be very careful, ladies, because it's really painful. This is a very beautiful girl with a very promising future. You know, her life has just been cut short just like that. So it's really so sad. It's a very sad event. So I really want us to be careful. If you're dating someone, know this person. When you see someone that flaunts money with no real thought, like you can't say this is what this person does. If you know that it is Yahoo, please be careful. I know now, I know now the aesthetics we want, the soft girl aesthetics we want for people to know we're enjoying and living our best girl life. Most of these young guys, <laughs> if you know what they do to make this money, because there's a there's pressure. Young men of today now they feel like they can't have a woman, they can't talk to a girl, they cannot have that life if they don't have money. And you can't blame them. Look at what our society has turned into. We 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 go for money. We take money over moral values. Is money above anything else in this society? You won't blame them. The young ones now they've seen, they've come to understand that money answers all things. So they go extra miles just to make that money so if you're with someone and you don't know his source of income you don't know what he does for a living you just see him living flashy lifestyle he's treating you to be careful be very careful do your research and know some of you are now so comfortable like it's now that bad that we are now so comfortable with this month of this year will be careful be careful in my tribe, we say, what is sweet also cute. Be very careful. As you are receiving gifts in hundreds of thousands of naira, flower bouquet, money bouquet, new phone, trip to Dubai, trip to Mal um, Bali, be careful. Trip to the Maldives, be very careful, guys. I don't know. Men, please, we're begging you guys. I know that there's this urge, there's this thing, but please, it's not always that is right get money the right way there is still dignity in labor there's still dignity in hard work now this guy has ruined even though we don't know the backstory he's saying that it was domestic violence but 
Why are her body parts, her private parts missing? Why are her private parts missing? Let's say you guys got into a fight. He said she got the knife. He now, in the case of struggle, he now stabbed her. Okay. But why are her body private parts missing? This is a case of rituals. The case of some dark shit going on. So now we can't even take his word for it. So that's how this guy's life, because he has been arrested. He was arrested in Abia State. He was apprehended in Abia State for over 150 million naira fraud. That was when the case of this girl this now came up after they found her corpse in his place. So you can see that his life is already ruined. That guy is just 26 years, but his life is over as he knows it. So please, we can do better. This is just, I, I want us to learn. It's not every day we see things like this. Sometimes it happens, you're like, hey, thank God it's not. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. Because this generation, we want the fast, we want the easy, we want the quick way. We want to, you know, la vida loca. Please, I'm begging us, ladies, let's be careful. Guys, please, in all you're doing, do things the right way. Let, and this is just a close call. It's a very close call to both ladies, both to guys. Your life can be cut short with the wrong decisions you make. Please, this is a very sad news, honestly. You know, RIP to the dead and to the living. Let's learn from their mistakes. Let's learn. Let's learn and let's apply things to our life. Let's use wisdom. Ladies, please be careful. Not everything out there is real. Not all that glitters is gold. This is a very old saying, but it's still real. It applies to real, real lifetime. Not every, not all that glitters is gold. Please, let's be very careful. With that, guys, I've come to the end of today's episode on love, date, and relationship. Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's still your favorite girl, B. And with that, guys, I'll be leaving you guys at this point. But before I go, hope you're following us on all of our social media handles. On Instagram, we'll go by e.com underscore official. For Facebook and YouTube, we'll go by e.com official. And for Twitter, we'll go by edotcom one All in the white case alphabet. Bye, guys. That'll be all for now. Bye.